Hi there, Winnie here from Draw So Cute. In this video, we're going to draw Logan Paul. So let's get started. With Logan Paul, we're going to first start by drawing his face. So right here, I'm going to start. Draw more of a squarish face to give him a stronger jawline. So right here, I'm going to bring it down. So let's go on the other side. So about right here, I'm going to do the same thing. A little straighter down. And then about right here, I'm going to angle it in. So then right here, we're going to aim to come down. And then right here, just connect it to make it more squarish and stronger. So it's not just a um, soft U. There's more angles to it. So in this area right here, come down a little bit right here. And we're going to just start to draw a curve for his eyes. So I'm going to come about right here towards the edge and draw a curve. And so I'm going to do the same thing on the other side right here and draw a curve. So this is the um, draw so cute eyes for humans. <laughs> and so then right there, we're going to draw a curve down. So kind of like as if you're drawing a circle, but it's not a complete circle. So it's kind of like a U. And the same thing on this side. There. Okay, so then from there, let's make them draw so cute eyes. I'm gonna come in here with two circles, just like the regular draw so cute eyes, and a curved line at the bottom, and shade in the top. So the only difference is that you're not drawing a complete circle, you're capping it off right here with the top line. Okay, and then the lines at the bottom. So same thing over here, two small circles, and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And the lines at the bottom. And then from there, we can come up here and we're going to draw his brow. So you're going to go up or right here and draw an angle and thicken it up and come down. So notice I'm aiming to about this area right here where I started off my line. So same thing on this side. A little bit angle, come down and connect it. So then from there, let's give him a cute little smile right here in the center and cap it off. So I'm giving him a wider, uh, longer chin because Logan Paul does have that longer chin. And you can come in here just very, very slightly, just draw a little curve for his chin. And then um, now we can come up more with this line right here for his face. So then now that we know where his eyes should go, we're gonna come up here and then in this area, we're gonna start to draw his hair. So I'm gonna start about right here. I'm gonna give myself a point. That's where his hair parts on the side. And from here, everything is basically gonna start to curve. So I'm gonna come right about right here. I'm gonna draw my first curve. So I'm just gonna curve it up and then come back down and flare it out. So right here, I'm just gonna, another curve for his unruly hair. <laughs> maybe another in and then curve it out. So then right here, as I said, everything is gonna curve out from here. So this is our point. So it's just some short, some long. And then from here, we're gonna draw just um, sides of his hair. So once again, same thing. And connect back to this area. Now, before we finish off his hair, let's come back in here and we're gonna draw his ear. So right where the eyes are about right here, I'm gonna pop out an ear. So curve, and you can come in here for some details. And let's do the same thing on the other side. And draw another ear. And same thing, two curves inside for some detail. And then from there, we can uh, better gauge where to draw his hair. So we're gonna come below right here because he does have some hair that's um, a little bit longer. So right here, we're gonna start to curve it out. And we're basically going to be drawing a bunch of zigzags that come back up. So don't worry too much about the exact um, lines. You just wanna zigzag it up and down and then bring it back up here. 
like that. So then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So about right here. So it's in, out, in, out. So sometimes you can mix it up a little bit. Maybe nothing shows up here and then it comes out. And maybe some bigger ones like that. Okay, so then from here, we're gonna draw, finish off the top of his head. So we're gonna come bring this curve out, giving him some volume. Maybe bring this in. So come out here, curve. So just a bunch of zigzags here and there, and we just wanna continue this shape. So don't worry too much about the exact. So some details, maybe some more lines. Like that. So basic uh, unruly hair for jo uh, Logan Paul. <laughs> okay, so there. Now let's you come in here and pop out the eye a little bit more, give it a little bit more curve. So if your eye seems to look a little sleepy, you can just pop it up right here with a deeper, taller curve. Okay, so from there, now let's draw his body. So I'm gonna come over here where squarish jaw is because he's so muscular, right? We're giving him a very thick neck. So I'm gonna come here, thicker than the usual draw, so cute necks. So right there, I'm gonna give him a nice wide neck and I'm going to connect it. So from here, I'm going to bring out his shoulder and just come out, curve it out, just start to draw his t-shirt. Bring in another line for some details in the shirt. And so then I'm going to imagine his armpits about right, let's say about right here. So I'm just going to go to the other side, nice and centered, and I'm going to bring down a line. So this is gonna be the beginning of his body. And then from there, I'm just gonna bring down this curve down for his shirt. And say about right here, I'm gonna connect it. And connect. Pop it out a little bit more because for his muscles. Okay, so I'm gonna bring down the shirt a little bit more. Keep coming down his long shirt and then from there let's um, let's draw his hands so I'm going to come over here and draw a curve so this is muscle and the shirt is going to be pretty tight um, so I'm just going to pop out another slight curve right there like that and I'm going to bring in his forearm and taper as we go so then from there, I'm going to draw his hands on his side. He just has it clenched. So out, back in. So we're going to draw his thumb, bring it in, and his fingers. So same thing over here, exact same pose. So you can, oops. <laughs> oops, you didn't see that. Drag the line over. And same thing over here. So nice and tight on the shirt. So once again, I'm going to bring it in and bring it in right here. And so just make sure it's about the same for his thumb and his fingers. Okay, so then now we can kind of end his shirt about right here. We're just going to cut it off. And then right here in the center, just draw a slight angle line. And then we're gonna bring out two angle lines right here for his pants. And continuing this, so we're just gonna give him a pair of simple sweatpants. Because I'm sure he loves to work out, right? <laughs> so we're just gonna keep bringing it down. And about right here, I'm gonna flare it out a little bit little bit right here and connect it. So same thing on this side. 
put it out a tiny bit and connect it. Okay, so then right here, I'm just going to give him a little cuff for the sweatpants. Connect it. Like that. Okay, and then his shoes, his tennis shoes. I'm going to come out, flare it out a little bit, and connect. So same thing here, flare it out, and connect. Okay, so then from there, I'm going to give some details. So come in with one curve at the bottom, top curve, and the two sides. Right there and then the laces. So same thing over here. Bottom curve, top curve, the two sides, and connected for his tennis shoes. And so then some details right here you can um, give him some pockets on both sides like that. And let's see here. That's pretty much it. We can give a little line right here at the bottom. Maybe a little crease. And okay, now I'm going to go ahead and draw that logo, the parrot, but I'm going to change to a thinner Sharpie. I'm going to change to an ultra fine point Sharpie just to draw the parrot logo because it's a lot smaller. So I'm going to come in here right in the center and I'm going to start to draw the parrot. So it's the body first. So I'm just going to draw a curve, top of the head, bring it down. It's the shape and then connect it at the bottom right here. I'm just simplifying it. And then from there, I'm going to draw the bottom tail. So I'm right in the center. So just make sure everything is nice and centered. I'm going to start to flare out one, two, on both sides. So that's the bottom tail, and then from there, let's draw a little angle right here for the um, beak of the parrot. And from here, I'm going to go up for the wings and then bring it down. One, two, three, and then I'm going to start to flare it out this way and bring it in. So let's do the same thing on the other side. So let's go about right here, angle. Bring it in and then start to come around and back like that. And then we come in here for some more details and same thing on this side. Oh, I almost forgot one more little detail. So right here in this shirt, I'm going to come in here and just draw a slight curve line right here for his shirt. And we can draw some creases right here because the shirt's nice and tight on him with his muscles. So that's pretty much it for this Draw So Cute Logan Paul. Hope you guys love how it turned out. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up and share it. And remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.